Joyce, uh, Ed Chef. Uh, what are you doing? Let the pump fill. Uh, I did. Got the choke right on? Yeah. It's unusual for that car. I, let him, I did leave it run for a good 10-15 seconds. Yeah, a bit longer. It's unusual that is for that not to start. Right, as you were well aware before I, I you probably don't know where I hurt my leg. Um, and it went bad and I've had loads of trouble with it um, so I haven't really been doing anything I just was in the middle of welding up doors and then I ran out of welding wire so I finished the back one uh, but I hadn't done I ran out of welding on the front one so there's still a few bits to do now these are the original doors repaired in the original colour come straight back don't turn the steer in The rear brakes are absolutely sea solid. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh yeah, drag that out. I'm going to try and repair that, aren't I? So yeah. There's so now I'm having this new homemade door skin part of it. Yeah, unfortunately I. I got it a little bit hot, so it warped it a bit. But anyway, I can't complain because it wasn't my fault. Well, it was my fault. Yeah, it was my fault. I was doing it. So, yeah. And that obviously is the door for the other one, which is initially started out as just being, oh yeah, a bit of lead. And it's now turned into the entire bottom of the door is missing. So, yeah. We're getting there. We've got two front doors that are good. Still got the doors on the other side in which I don't know but now no. Yeah. Yeah. The moral of this story guys is uh, the rear calipers have seized on and they don't want to come off so They've got to come off. They're series one XD6, and I need a rebuild kit. So, just something else to be doing my spare time, which I'm obviously not looking forward to. But anyway, so our main problem at the moment is the back door. Now, this back door was really bad. It had actually rotted away completely at the bottom edge, so we'd lost the entire board. Um So, really, we we did have a bit of an issue with that door, so which has been a pain. But I'm seeing the great scheme of things. It's it was on there, so if, if it was on there before, it should go on there again. Uh, all we can hope is that we can fit it. It's half inch and a, and a big Phillips in it. So yeah, from that point of view, guys, I mean, we've had a bit of a break. You know, that was over two weeks. I mean, you won't believe it, but two weeks ago, that was doors were, were taken off, and it was over two weeks ago I was doing the repairs. But for the minute, we have got some issues. Um, now, uh, you know, as I said before, it's. Uh, if they were on there before, they'll go on there again. These repaired ones have been done with galvanised and they are, like, the filler hasn't stuck. It's like, it's, so I might save them for the other one. If I don't, if I can't, if I can't be asked to repair that door, I might save, use those. So we'll see anyway. I'm going for the easy amount of work, guys. I'm tired of it. So uh, for the minute, I'll stop you there and say, yeah, uh, to be continued. Maybe you'll see where we get on. You'll see the fit, see what it looks like. Right guys, Ed Shed, having fun and games with us, everyone who has ever had a Mark II Jag will know, the doors rot and obviously they are very very tight gaps and they don't fit very well and the problem I've got is this door was completely missing, the whole bottom of it had gone, so that one came out not too bad, got to tidy that up there, grind that off a bit, but other than that, part of it warped slightly here, which is my own fault, um, not bad. But the front door on the other hand is a totally different kettle of fish because it would rot and all this had rotted off and this was rotten and all this was rotten. And I went off thinking to myself, I can do this and I did. And as you can see, somewhere I got it wrong. I know it was wrong here, I know that went wrong, I, I know that for nothing. Um, 
So, the gaps you get with the, look at the bolts, look at the bolts. How, unless you've got fingers, you can't even get your hands into them. So that is a pain. Um, but the door fits lovely, look at that door. Yeah, I just don't know. Lee's come up with a good idea, so just grind it and then spoil it. So it'll certainly outlive me. So I think, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm with him on that. And then the other idea he said was to grind it and weld it there. But I certainly thought to myself, what about beat the sill down? Because we're going to have to do some uh, work here. Look. So maybe we should sort of tease the gap down a bit with a. Or if I grind it here, which is what he's got, he's marked a line, um, I'm going to have a flopping bottom of a bloody door again, aren't I? So, I, I'll tell you one thing. This is just one side. Now, obviously, on our other Mark II project, we could use these doors. But these doors are full of, of galvanised plate and uh, filler, which hasn't stuck very well. So that might well be. Lee, what's your suggestion? Shoot the hostage. It's always favourite. My suggestion is there's a lot of grey clouds up there. There's a lot of grey clouds up there. Hold on. A lot of grey clouds up there. But anyway, we've been cleaning up and grinding and cleaning things. So look, this is sort of looking pretty... I don't know what's going on there. This is looking pretty good. This is looking like it's ready for a welder-thon. Um, I'll see what I'm trying I don't know what's going on there. Well, we're not looking at it. We don't, don't worry about it because we're going to put some box section. There's our new section. There's everything. We've got everything. And as they said before, later the group went back and buried the bodies. I don't know where they buried them, but we're going to bury them somewhere. Did but yeah. Did they? Yeah, they did, yeah. So that's what I said. Today is, uh, is a good day, isn't it? And uh, as I said, we've got quite a bit done, so we've got to look at the bright side, which is anything we get done today is something we haven't got to do tomorrow. Is that right? Except for that door over there, which we've got to try and do. But we also had a little plan to fix the roof leak. Not the roof leak on this shed, I might add a roof leak on another shed. So we might actually go and do the roof leak. Well, I'll be, well I cut my thinking cap on about what to do with that door skin. I mean, using the, the gold doors means, I don't know, what does it mean? It means the same amount of filler in, doesn't it, really, just on one door? I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you one thing. Mark two doors are known to be a pain. And people who restored their cars after they did them without the doors on very often found that once they'd welded them up they couldn't get their doors to go on anyway this on the other hand meant that this had already floors are not sills are good but the doors were wrong so in other words the door I repaired the originals one has come out perfect as soon as there was nothing of it and the other one has gone wrong anyway so like I said that's it for now like and subscribe and just realise one thing, it could be worse. It could be raining. Oop, it is. Don't you say it. Bye.